Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this video is going to go through the syllabus relatively quickly for my ninth grade physical science class. This syllabus is not going to be printed out and handed out for kids to take home. It is available on my Schoology page under the syllabus and safety section. And if you're a parent and you're looking at this, there's just some kind of nuts and bolts things I want to emphasize on this. Number one, as usual, the best way to reach me is through email, bsepala at cherrycreekschools.org. And this syllabus talks about general information. You will get one year of the science credit, what we're going to talk about, safety protocol, and daily materials. Now there's something that's kind of important here, especially for the parents. This physical science workbook is not yet ready. Um, there was an error at the publishing company. Um, once that gets fixed and that gets pushed out to us here at school, I will let you and your students know, and then we can order that. We order everything this year online through RevTrack, um, but it's not ready, so don't stress about it. It's not ready. Something that is ready and is needed is a scientific calculator. We cannot use cell phone scientific calculator apps um, because then you can cheat if you're using it during an exam of some type. So a scientific calculator, not super expensive, is really important. If you've got one or if you've got a graphing calculator already for your math class, perfect. Some materials that we'll need, but we don't need every day, are pretty standard school materials, stuff that we used in middle school all the time. Ruler that has a metric marking, angle protractor, graph paper, colored pencils, markers. Those are things that your students will need, but they will not need them every day. Something that's a little different this year is technology. Um, we, as Dr. Siegfried have said, it's not if we go remote, but it's when we go remote. So while we're in class, if they have technology, something that connects to the internet, a Chromebook, a cell phone, a tablet, anything would be awesome. We're gonna use PowerSchool, Schoology, Gmail, Flipgrid, Microsoft Teams, Google Drive a lot. And while your students are in class, um, I wanna kind of teach them how we can use that efficiently. Our blended learning schedule, I'm going to be as good as I possibly can on it, but this is just as new to me as it is to your students. I do know that Monday is no kids in the school. They deep clean the school, and I'm going to be conducting virtual office hours between 10 and 11. But to be honest with you, if you shoot me an email, we can set up appointments for virtual office hours at any time. Tuesday, Wednesday, cohort A kids I see in person, cohort B kids are remote learning, doing assignments I give them online at home whenever they can. And the absolute flip side for Thursday and Friday, cohort B I will see, cohort A will be doing remote learning. At the beginning, the remote learning is gonna be pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Hopefully it gets a little more complicated and a little more rigorous as we go throughout the year. My grading policy is very straightforward. PowerSchool is my official gradebook and we do total points. The makeup work policy is pretty straightforward. Just get your work in. Freshmen, the biggest issue that they have is not turning in work. If they turn in their work, they will keep their heads above water and they will thrive. Class conduct, your kids are great about that. Gotta wear your IDs, gotta wear your mask. There's my daily schedule. If you need extra help, Mondays are the day to do that. And when we go to remote learning, all of what we have been practicing kind of gets thrown out the window, but that's a bridge that we'll cross when we get to it. I'm really excited. Uh, five months being out of school was too much for me. This is my 20th year teaching. Uh, I have not started a, an August or a September outside of a classroom, I realized since 1982. So I'm pretty pumped to be here. I really, really am. If you have any questions, please shoot me an email. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can and have a wonderful rest of your day.